This is a map of Chicago in 1940. The red is a white population, the blue is a black population. During this time, it was completely legal to refuse housing to black people. This is a map of Chicago today. Notice how it's still incredibly segregated. You can literally map Chicago's systemic racism. Here is a map of Chicagoans' access to high paying or low paying jobs. Here's a map of food deserts. Notice where they're located. Again, here's a map to remind you. During the era of No Child Left Behind, many West and South Side schools were closed, or entire staffs were fired and rehired with liberal arts grads from places like Teach for America. Here is an illustration of what schools have arts funding and which ones do not. Here's a map of asthma and air pollution. And lastly, here is a map of life expectancy in Chicago. When you talk about violence and poverty and gun laws and policing, you need to be looking at the big picture. And systemic racism and inequity is at the root of it. So if you want to bring Chicago's violence into the conversation right now, remember that systems are violent too. Mm, but what about Chicago? Mm, what about Chicago? What about Chicago? Mm, what about Chicago? And just to put a bow on it, every time they bring up Chicago, they're the same people that don't want to be the white people. They're lumped in with all other white people. Just like the other white people who say they don't want to be lumped in with all other white people end up being the white people that they don't want to be lumped in with. So it's pretty anti-blackness. It's racist. It's racist when they say, what about Chicago? And you're not even from Chicago. R-E-X